Well, we have a very light carbon footprint. As you can see, during the day, we don't need any electricity because natural light is supplied through these amazing wells of light and, and, and the windows and the walls of the building. Uh, we have rainwater harvesting on the roof. So uh, we use that water in order to water our beautiful Islamic gardens and to provide water for the ablutions and other facilities in the building. We have something called an air source heat pump, which extracts warmth from the surrounding air, which also uh, helps us with our uh, electricity bills. We have a photovoltaic array, so that we generate our own electricity from the light that sometimes the sun does shine in Cambridge, that, that falls on the roof here. So generally, we are definitely ahead of the curve in terms of using some of the most cutting edge sustainable technologies. Well, as you can see, we're now in the main prayer room and uh, the basic theme here is these amazing trees which uplift the eyes to the uh, cross latticing of these uh, laminated timber beams which represent what the mosque is trying to do uh, symbolically, which is to bring together east and west. So the references to King's College Chapel and fan vaulting and the whole Gothic uh, tradition, which is salient in Cambridge, but also the wonderful Eastern traditions of arabesques and sacred geometry. So we're symbolically in the fabric of the building itself trying to bring together these Eastern and Western narratives that are very often seen as being uh, uh, in a state of permanent conflict. I too hope that uh, interreligious dialogue will also take place here, so we will be building bridges from this building, extending our helping hand and our understanding uh, to the other, other faiths in particular, and people of no faith as well. We want to work together, and certainly we want to be as, as inclusive as possible to all genders, uh, to all different cultures, uh, of our Muslim brothers and sisters who come here. Well, this makes me very, very happy and uh, lucky to have, in my lifetime, lucky to have a mosque like this in Cambridge. I thought it's never going to be happen, but it's happened. It makes me really, really happy. When they come here, they find this the proper mosque, you know. It's just like when they go on holiday in our country or some other countries or whatever it is. You know, when they go in, they, they feel just like the, this is the mosque. It's not a house or something like that. <laughs>